guys, it's me again. My name's Shane. Today's project is going to be one that probably none of y'all will ever, ever build, but it will show that any problem you have around your house, you can, you can fix it by building it yourself out of wood. Because that's what I do. I build stuff out of wood. Today, I have an issue because I've got this platform. It's a step up, step up platform. And it's supposed to go here. But as you can see, there's stuff here. Can't move this up because of this. So I'm gonna build a I'm gonna build a platform for this thing. And um, it's gonna be adjustable so it can go up and down. You ask why I just don't build a step up box, but we have this, so why not why not build a platform for it? This is the wood we're gonna build it out of. This is a uh, I'm just gonna cut everything down. It's a uh, supposed to be, supposed to be a ten by ten by two, but of course it's a one and a half by nine and a quarter. That'll make the that'll make the whole base. And then I got this. I've used it somewhere before. It's got screw holes in it. But it's a uh, supposed to be an eight by two, but of course it's only a one and a half by uh, seven and an eighth, and even seven and a quarter. But it's got it's got a horrible twist in it, and I'm never going to use it for anything else. So why not use it for this? What I'm going to do first is I'm going to make the piece that this is actually going to attach to. This is that board that's got a twist in it. As you can tell, it's very bad. So if you ever have a board this warped, you don't want to use your table saw because it'll bind up, it'll kick back, and then you're in trouble. So I'm going to cut it straight down the middle on the bandsaw because the bandsaw is forgiving. Um, and then we'll mill these mill the half down that I'm going to use to make it square and flat again. And then uh, we'll make sure it fits, and then go from there. I've got a line drawn right down the center of this board, right here. We're just going to try to cut it on that line the best we can. Uh, this is a resaw blade I got in here, so I'm not going to be able to turn it too awful much. So we're going to do what we can with that. You know what these are, guys. Hearing protection, eye protection. Got to wear them. This is my board that I cut in half. As you can see, it still has a bow in it, which is, I'll, I'll work around it, I guess. Why it bows like that, I don't know. But I only need two foot out of this board, which is from here to here. I'm gonna cut out them two screw holes, so that's gonna leave me one little bitty screw hole, which is no big deal. I'll put it on the bottom, can't see it. I'll cut those off. So let's get to uh, milling this board down and see if we can't get it flat. Magic. We're gonna joint. We're gonna joint two sides of this. And remember, you gotta take your pencil. Find the boat side down. It's all bowed, so we're gonna do this side because it doesn't have this nasty knot. Knots are hard to cut through, and it'll chip out in this net. So. All you want to do is take your pencil and mark down this board. And you're going to mark down the other side that you want to join off, make straight. That way when you joint your board, all these marks is going to be gone. 
when it's flat. Same with that side. I got that piece cut down and now I'm fixing to run it through this joiner. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna fast forward through all this so it'll go by quick. I won't bore you with it and I won't talk and I'll look funny. Except for right here, which that's fine. It's going to be cut off also. So I wasn't worried about that little piece. What I'm going to do now, this is going to be, this is going to be the square that goes around the very bottom. So I'm going to have a square on the bottom. I'm going to have, I'm going to have this piece sitting up and then I can, I can going to drill a hole in it and then I can mount this piece to this. So what I need to do is I got this big board. I'm gonna rip it. I'm gonna rip it twice. I need them three and a half inches wide. So I'm gonna rip this first piece three and three quarter inches wide. That way I can flip it around and cut off this this factory edge over here so it'll be smooth. And then uh, after I cut both of those, I can cut them to length. And then uh, we'll do a little bit of joinery and glue it and screw it together. Oh, please. So what I have here is this board, this board is binding up and what it's doing, what it's doing is when I'm cutting it, it's relieving stress on that side and that, let's just say the board is, is like this and I'm cutting it and then it's pinching on the very other side. So what I have to do is I've got to, I've got to get a wedge. And I've got to wedge this up back here. Don't keep pushing if it's really hard. Um, stop and, and figure out what the what the situation is with it. All right. So I think you can see it. I have put a wedge. I've put a wedge in here, and what that does is separates this right here, so it's not binding up on on this riving knife right here. So I uh, I pulled the wood out a little bit to get it off the blade so I can turn it back on and we're gonna go at it again. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna set my, my fence to three and a half inches because that's where I need these boards to be. Three and a half and then this one piece right here that I just ran on this side, I'm gonna spin it around so to cut this nasty side off and it'll look like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one and it'll give me two good sides on that one.
Here's what I'm fixing to do now. I need to cut these boards down to 23 inches. I need two at 23 inches and I need two at 22 inches. So what I have is I'm going to cut just the very end of this off to make it uh, a 90 degree angle. And then I'm going to slide this guy over here. I have me a stop block set up right here. Um, so it'll cut, it'll cut it exactly 23 inches. And then I'll take the other one and I'll do the exact same thing. Always, always have you a stop block set up. Never have it. I'm going to move this and mess up my measurement. But never put, never put your fence at 23 inches or whatever your measurement is. Never do that and push this board through because what's going to happen what's going to happen is when you cut this board off and you cut it all the way and it gets it gets hung up in here this is a shorter piece but I'll show you what it's going to do what it's going to do is when it gets hung up in there it's going to bind and then it's going to twist up it's going to pull your hand inside the blade, it's going to cut your fingers off, it's going to shoot this piece back, and it's going to put a big old nastiness right here on your stomach. So never do that. Alright, I had to set my stop block up a little different. I couldn't use this side anymore because if I tried to do 20, 22 inches, it would have been way over there and I wouldn't have had much to hold on to right here. So what I did, let me get this up. All I did was made a stop block on this side and it's, I needed 22 inches and from that stop block, to the left side of the blade is 22 inches. So I'll take the good 90 degree angle cut that I did as opposed to the factory side. I'm gonna take it and I'll put it up against the stop block, cut this nastiness off. I'll have that one. I'll do the same thing with this one. And then we'll have two 22 inch boards. Yay. This is basically how the base is going to go with some not so fancy joinery to hold all this stuff together. Not so fancy joinery to hold this into here. Um, I'll, I'm going to do half laps. It's going to be not full half laps, but half half laps. Kind of half that quarter half laps. I don't know. Then I'll glue it, I'll screw it. I'm going to do the same here in the center, then I'll come in and I'll drill, I'll drill a few holes here because a pin has to, to go through here. The pin's going to go through here to hold this thing up. And this, man this thing's heavy, this will sit in here. And then you can use it for step ups. Or you can just lift this thing up and get exercise. Whichever way. The way I'm going to cut this joinery is I'm going to use a dado stack. In a lot of countries, dado stacks aren't legal because I don't know why. I don't know. But they, you can't even buy saws over there with the arbor big enough to hold a dado stack. It's, it's just not long enough. Um, you can. You can get them here in the United States like that, but you got to get a uh, an adapter to fit to make it work. But all this is is it it makes a thick saw blade. But you got to change all this out. Let's see if I can get a good good view of it. Maybe y'all can see in there. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna record it anyway. 
So first, make sure your saw is turned off and unplugged so you don't cut these digits off. Don't need no accidental mishaps. Take this blade off. And this is, this is a saw stop saw, so it also has a cartridge. It has a cartridge like this. So you also gotta change that out because the cartridge that's in there for a regular blade is thin. The one for the dado stack is thicker because it has to stop a bigger blade if it does trip. But it's simple. You just take that one out, you put this one in. People ask if this stuff really works, but I don't want to pay the extra money for it. But you can look at a minimum of probably $10,000 or so for an amputation. So either you pay a little extra money for a saw, or you go to the hospital, you pay for an amputation because you don't cut your fingers off. Now you don't have no fingers. Uh, you, lost, you lost time at work. All that good stuff. So go get yourself a table saw like this. It's better in the long run. And I'll show you in a second what it looks like when it has a tripped blade. And you just put all this back together, just like this. Let me get that thing. This is what a tripped blade looks like. But it tripped this instead of tripping my fingers off. Here's my setup. What I have is my dado stack in. I have me uh, a, I guess it's a, you can call it a stop block. I got a stop block set up here because I need three quarters of an inch, which is three quarters of an inch right here. I need three quarters of an inch cut out of this piece right here. And I'm only gonna cut from midways down. So it's gonna, it's gonna cut it out and you'll see how it's done. reason I can do this up against this fence as opposed to the way I told you earlier of never run it up against like that is because it's not a through cut uh, there's there's nothing gonna there's nothing gonna bind there's nothing gonna kick back or anything and when you see me doing this on the thing a lot of people they'll take a chisel and uh, they'll clean that up because it'll have little bitty lines on it but you just take and run it back and forth. Make sure it hits the top of the blade and it'll clean every bit of that up so you don't have to use a chisel to do it. Um, I'm gonna pause here for a second. I gotta do this, I did this side, I gotta do this one, and I gotta do the same thing on this board. But I have to go take care of some goats, so I will be back momentarily. I had a plan on how I wanted to join these together. So that piece I just cut, which was just a little bit right here, I cut that off, what I'm gonna do, is I'm going to have them standing up and I'm going to cut this out and on the other one I'll cut the top out and then they'll join right together. I think it'll be a little stronger that way so that's how I'm going to do it but same same technique same everything just to standing up instead of laying down. Go ahead and do the other other end and the other board. The next part of this joint, what I gotta do is I've got to cut this this piece out so this will set on top of it, like Lincoln logs. So what I'll do is I'll mark a line under here. I'll cut this out until it fits in there. Um, 
It's always good to sneak up on the cut instead of cutting too much because you can't add this board back together. But I've already cut it on this side just so it didn't look dumb if I messed it up. So the way it's going to fit is just like that. This is going to be my very back piece that the, the, the one that stands up tall, it's going to go, it's going to have a cut in half of that. So I got to cut that out and I've got me two stop blocks set up here. I've got this one and it takes me to this mark right here when I cut it. And then I've got this one right here that takes me to this mark. So all I'm gonna cut is right in between those two marks. And these two stop blocks is gonna, is gonna make it happen. Got this one cut, it fits in there. So what I need to do now is I need to cut one like this on the end of here. So the, to get them markings, all you do is set this on here. I don't want it to go all the way down. So I set mine to right there. And I drew me a mark right there. And then I drew me a mark right here. So after you draw your marks, you're gonna wanna flip this over and then raise your blade up to just under that pencil mark. And then you're gonna cut that out. I've got me a, uh, I've got me a stop block over on this side. Right there. And that will ensure that I cut the right amount out. Scratch that stop block I had on that side. I got one here. My mind ain't working right. I ain't had much sleep. But anyway, you gotta run this through and then do the same thing we did all them other ones. This is what we have right now. As you can see, all these are just going to fit together like so. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll put glue here, put glue here, all the way around, and then I will screw them here and here. Now to make that really strong, and then this, move this around so you can see. I've got this cut out here. I've got this cut out here. This is gonna fit right there. I'll put glue on it. I'll put screws in there. But right now, I'm gonna go drill my holes here so when I put this platform on it, this pin will go through it and hold it up. Got my holes drilled. I drilled them the perfect size so this wouldn't go through. So I had to take a file and file out every single one of them. But that's all right. It works. It works. And then it can adjust to all these other holes. Um, right now, because my next step is I gotta put glue on them and screw it all together, and then it'll be finished. But right now I'm gonna charge the battery up in this camera and while that's doing, I'm gonna to go touch up the paint 
on all these shelves. I believe we got everything on video as up to this point. Um, so I went ahead and clamped it together because I'm gonna pre-drill it. I'm gonna pre-drill. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Right here. I'm gonna pre-drill these. I'm gonna run a screw in them. I'm gonna put glue on them first. But anytime you uh, make a square, you want to make sure it is square. So just just clamp it up, run you a square in here, make sure all of it's square, which mine is. Um, when I drill these, I'm going to go ahead and drill it all the way around it and then uh, take it apart, put glue on it, and then when I run the screws back in them, it should square itself back up. So we're going we're gonna to do that right, right now, right now, R right now. And start gluing. We're going to do the same thing, we've got this groove here, we're just going to glue it, I'm going to pre-drill it, we're going to glue it, and I'm going to screw it to it. day two of this build my battery died last night so I had to charge it up again I went ahead and added two pieces not on the video but it's it's real simple I just I added I added this brace right here just cut it to size glue it and screw it in and I added this brace right here same thing cut it to size glue it screwed it um, it's not sitting level and that's because of this right here, which I had a feeling was going to happen. So all I'm going to do is get me a measurement in between here. I'm going to make me a shim, and I'm going to I'm going to glue it to here, and then it will sit straight. And I'm going to add me I'm going to add me a brace from here to here, and then from here to here, and then uh, paint it, and it will be done. And I cut I cut a little shim. I just measured right here to see what this gap was. I cut a shim, I slid it under there. She's level now. So I need to cut two braces at 17 and a quarter. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna cut them at 17 and a quarter. I'm gonna mount them here. And it'll put a brace under here and the same thing on this side. And we'll sand it and paint it. I have my I have my pieces cut. And they're gonna fit right in here, just like so, just like so. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw some glue, throw some glue on it.
Then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I came outside to route all this down because it's... I don't want everything to get dusty inside and this will make a mess. So, and it's cold out here so I'm going to make this quick. Well, I was routing it outside and had too much too much stuff on my memory card. So it didn't video all of it, but I got it routed. I sanded it down. Now it's time to paint it. Absolutely hate painting. I wanted to paint it black so it'll match everything, but I don't have black paint. I'm not gonna go buy any. But I do have this, it's a dark gray color. So we're gonna make it work. A Little bit of paint and it'll be done. Maybe it's a lighter gray than I thought, but it'll work. It's gonna have to. I'm not gonna bore y'all with this. I, uh, I'll get it finished painted up, I'll let it dry, and then I'll show y'all the end results of it. This is it, guys. It's painted, it's, it's finished. It's kinda like what I had in my mind to make. I could've built a, a step-up box. It would've been a whole lot easier to build, but that metal thing right there, the step-up thing cost, I think it was like 80 bucks or something like that. So I figured, well, might as well, might as well use it. So I did, so it's got the, uh, I got the holes in it right here to, uh, to make it adjustable and uh, it'll sit up there and I will put it on the ground and show you that it will actually hold me up. All right, here it is. Voila. make anything out of wood. Well, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Appreciate you sticking around and watching. And if you like this sort of content, uh, just me building stuff and y'all watching, uh, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that bell button, and I will see y'all next week. Come here. Y'all wanted to say, hey, come here. Quick. Can't have nothing with them around. Come here. They got mad because I told them I made a video and they wasn't in it. And they got mad. Quit. Come here. Come here. Come say hey. Come say hey. Come here, Gus. Come here, Gus. It's blue. Can they see you, girl? <laughs> say hey to them. Say hey, what's up? Nope. Come here, Gus. Quit chewing on stuff. This is fat boy right here. Say hey, Gus. Say hey. Nope. Say hey. Ain't nothing over there. You wanted to talk? Say hey. <laughs> is there something going on? That was Gus. They just want to say hey. <laughs>